Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Above Snakes, where today we're going to try to build ourselves a bit of a better house. Here's the current house, it's a log shack, and it's okay I suppose, it does the job, it serves a purpose, it's a roof over our head, and it keeps the zombies from eating us at night time, which is quite good, but I would rather have a fancier house made out of exciting wooden planks, rather than big chunky bits of lumber. Wooden planks are the future of house building, and we can make planks now with our lovely new sawmill over here that we got last time. So that's today today's goal, get ourselves a fancier, plankier house. I think that sounds like quite a good plan. However, first things first, let's do the basics. We need to eat and drink and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Let's grab ourselves some food and we'll have a bit of water as well. So let's have a bit of regular water. That should sort out our thirst very well. And then food, we've got so many options. Let's have a lovely grilled fish skewer. That should do quite well for hunger. There we go. That's very good. Now, what we are going to do first, though, we're just going to nip over to the river over here or the lake or whatever it is, the body of water over here. Just pop over here and we are going to collect a decent amount of water. Hang on. There we go. So scoop some water here, please. We're going to grab, I don't know, maybe we'll grab six lots of this and I can sort of uh, I can experiment with something that lots of people have been telling me about slash yelling at me about in the comments so hang on is that our six one I'm not quite sure we got six dirty water yes we have okay so right now when I've been gathering water previously we've come over to the little kind of campfire thing hang on let's get back over here I've come over here We've popped a branch on it. That's absolutely fine. So get that lit. That's all very good. And what I've been doing is I've been going, right, okay, we need to sort this water out. So put one water in, cook that, and yay, the water is cooked. And I was doing that however many times we had whatever water. So if we had five lots of water, I would cook the water individually five times. Lots of people said, no, you don't need to do that. You can just do that. Look, put three lots of water in and it will boil that water up and you get the three added to your water total. It doesn't do anything clever. It just makes three lots of water. So let's try that, shall we? Let's have a little look at that. Yeah, it does do that, doesn't it? That makes life a lot easier and that's significantly quicker. Thank you, everybody. That's very good. Also, a few people did say that if you cook up bones, you get something. A new recipe. Okay, this is intriguing. What are we cooking with three bones? Um, fertilizer. Bone meal. Ah, okay, yes. Now, a few people did say, yeah, you might be able to get into some farming at some point. Maybe not now, but farming is you know, potentially a part of the game. So I think that could be quite good, couldn't it? Got some uh, got some fertilizer now from the bones that we get from chopping apart the zombies. Okay, right. So cook the berries as well, because we might as well. Right. Okay. Quite happy with that. That's good. So come out of that then, please. Uh, the fire's almost burnt out anyway, which is good. But everything down here looks good. So what do we need to get making lots of sort of wooden building foundation things, proper ones. So hang on, go to the sawmill. So we can make wooden beams and wooden planks over in the sawmill. And then, is it, where do, oh no, hang on, no. Then we have to go to the workbench over here. Possibly didn't need to go all the way over there, but um, okay, so over here, look. Right, so we need, we need lots of wooden planks. We've got that and we can get those very easily because there are many, many trees. The problem is going to be the tin nails. That's going to be a bit of an issue. So what we need to do is we need to have a little trip to the, I was going to say the seaside. It's not really the seaside. To the, uh, to the I don't know, lakeside, to the shore over here. And we need to try to grab as much tin ore as we can. So there's a little bit over here, which is good. So hang on, let's grab the pickaxe. Let's get rid of this, please. So choppity chop this apart. Hopefully two bits come out. Sometimes three comes out. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, we shall have all of those, please. And we'll have a little look around here as well. So we need to pick up as much of that as possible. So we can then turn that into the ore. No, not the ore. It's already the ore. Turn that into ingots. And then turn the ingots into nails. And then we can do lots of lovely building work. So here we go. Just grab this. About another three. That's perfect. And we have been adding bits of shoreline on. Oh, and look at that. There's another one there. This is fantastic. Okay, please have three in as well, because that will be completely perfect. Go on, have three. Only the two in that one, but that's still okay. Two is still pretty good. And now, what time is it? It's kind of you know, it's afternoon, I think. And we might have time to run over here to the other shoreline. We'll go over here on the slightly bigger body of water, and we might be able to have a look along there as well and grab even more tin ore. Where is, where is the river over here or the lake or whatever it is? Where's the body of water over here? Um, I've lost it. Ah, no. Okay, we, we are going in the right direction. We were just quite far away over there. We do need a horse. A few people have said, can you get a horse? I'm not quite sure. I don't really know. 
Right, is there one over here? I don't think that particular map piece got us a um, got us any iron ore, which uh, a tin ore, sorry, which is a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. How about then? There's a bit over here, but maybe that's not come back yet because we did go and grab that quite recently. It takes a little while for it to respawn. So there's none over there, and I don't think there's any over there. Okay, never mind. So we've already got all the tin ore that we can get our hands on right now. How about then? We go back over here. We are quite thirsty again, but we do have a massive amount of water now, which is quite good. So if we just head back to base, which is somewhere around here, I'm not entirely sure whereabouts it is. It's got to be there. We go. Look, look for the big, look for the big chunky house. Right. So head over to here, then, please. We will just stop and have a little bit of a drink because we are quite thirsty. There we go. Right. Go to here, then. So like that with a big piece of lumber. Why is the sawmill spinning around? I don't know. Who's been doing that? Right, and then in the furnace here, can we please, we can make four lots of tin ingots. That's very good. Right, okay, so crack on with that then, please. So that's one. That's the second. That's the third. And that is the fourth. Okay, so we've got plenty of those. And now over at the anvil, we can turn those into tin nails. We could also, if we wanted to, make a shovel. And I imagine maybe the shovel is used for doing some sort of some sort of uh, farming stuff. You dig out a little kind of plot, possibly. So it might be worth using one of our tin ingots to turn it into a lovely, lovely shovel. Let's do that. A branch and a tin ingot turns into a shovel. We'll make one shovel. OK, that's exciting. And then with the other three tin ingots, we shall make ourselves... 15 nails because for every one of these sort of nails that you sort of units you make it gives you actually five nails out of it so we can make 15 nails that's quite good and we've got two already i think so i think that should be we've got hang on 50 17 mass with pench 17 tin nails which is good so now with those we should be able to start crafting some of the bits and bobs. I know it's not over there. I keep forgetting where it is. It's over at the workbench. Hang on, go to the workbench. So workbench tier four, we can now start making some plank foundations because that's what we need to do any kind of building on first. So let's get, am I done to start with? Let's just get, that's one, that's two. We'll get six of these, I think. So three and four and five and six. This is going to be quite a long job to get this done. In fact, do you know what? Let's get a seventh done and that uses up all of our wooden planks. So there we go. So seven bits of foundation. It's going to be a long process, this. It's not going to be a quick thing. We're not going to go, ta-da, we've built a lovely house. Wonderful. It's going to take ages, but that's fine. That's fine. We can work on it over time. So I think here yeah, the plan was to build it over there, to put the house together over there. That would be quite good. So can we at least get a few house pieces down. So can we get the plank foundations down? So if we say the back of the house is going to go along there. Oh, hang on a minute. Abandon that in its entirety. Come out of that, please. It's gone a bit dark and a bit cold. We're going to go inside and go to bed in the in the slightly rubbishy house, but that's okay. Right, here we go. So go and have a bit of a rest. There we go. Wake up in the morning. Let's have a little look at what's happening. Right, so a bit thirsty, a bit hungry, as is to be expected. Right, okay, do all the stuff we have to do. Uh, while we're here, actually, passing the cartography table, is there anything we need to unlock? No, no new world pieces we have to unlock. Um, we haven't actually got any of these down yet, have we? We haven't got any kind of snow-covered forest down. And we do have a, um, a village to go and visit as well. We have got a little village to go and visit. Um, can we see where our current goals are? quest log mysterious fragments didn't we have a village to go and visit i thought we had to go and visit our friend in a village we hang on there was a village over we put it down it's over there look i thought our friend had said hey please can you come and chat to us we're over here i thought that was one of our goals but okay maybe not then i don't know um okay well let's just sort this out first hang on so consumables have a bit of and we're okay for water actually hang on could we have a little bit of mint tea. That might be quite a nice way to start the day. And we shall have some more fish skewers and then just top everything up quite well. So thirst and hunger, have a huckleberry bowl. Okay, that's good. I think, I think, let's wander over here. Let's go and see if we can find our friend. I thought that was one of our missions. Maybe it's, maybe the game's been updated or something and it's kind of removed the, oh, there's a zombie over there. Maybe it's removed that mission or something's happened. I don't know, but okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Let's get out the exciting choppy axe. 
and we can try and choppity chop you. Hello, how are you? Dodge out the way, roll. There we go, roll back in, choppity chop, roll out the way. Ah, oh, yes, we're very good at chopping at zombies. There we go, farewell zombie. Right, loot you. It does affect our sanity ever so slightly. Um, ah, we got a key, and also by looting that zombie, we became aware of more of the world, which is a bit strange, but there we go. That's how the game works, and I've got a new world piece. It might be worth putting down the, um, the snow bits. That might be worth doing. Just grabbing some mushrooms as we go, because the mushroom soup is particularly good. So we'll grab that. There we go. Um, yeah, I think it's just up here, isn't it? I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. There's loads of these things. Wait, can we zoom in a bit? Lots of people have pointed out these things. So, um, yeah, they're called jackalopes. You can't really see that one there. So it's a jackalope. So it's like a little, it's like a hare, but with antlers. And apparently they're a bit of a sort of a, a Wild West sort of myth thing where people would, I don't know, could you call them con artists possibly? But people would try to trick other people by saying, look, I found this new thing. Look, it's a um, it's a hare or a rabbit or whatever, but it's got antlers. Come and marvel at the thing. Um, but really it was just a trick and they'd just been kind of, you know, I don't know, glued onto their head or something. So there we go. It's quite nice to see that there. Um, okay, here is the village. Hello, village. Is everything okay? I can't see any people. There are little flowers in the village, which is quite nice. I can't see any people. Uh, can we have a look inside? Uh, ah, right. Hello. Are you our friend? You're our chief. Okay, maybe we're going to speak to our friend first. Rotate, rotate. Is our friend in this one? Uh, ah, there we go. Yes, there's our friend Cheyenne. Hello, Cheyenne. How are you? Hey, Ayana. It's so good to see you. Welcome back to Kacheda Kacheda Village. Okay, thank you very much. How have you been? I, I mean, you know, I've been killing Wild West zombies and trying to survive and, you know, it's, it's been tough. You know what? Yeah, it's been a rough time, but we are doing quite well, to be fair. We're doing okay. Do you know what? We're doing well. Let's be positive. Let's be upbeat about it. Well, that's good to hear, my friend. The world can be pretty harsh, but luckily you know your way around. It has been very rough out here lately. Something's gotten into the wildlife, making them stir and shake and become very aggressive. I've even seen some animals with eyes as green and bright as a river stone. Okay, yeah, that happens to the people as well. Have you seen any zombies around? Okay, ask if she knows what's going on. Ask if you can help. Ask for advice about traveling in colder areas. That might be quite relevant. Ask about the horse outside. Do we get a horse? Okay, this is going to be very exciting. Um, okay, firstly, do you know what's going on? Any idea? Do you have any ideas what's happening? I personally don't know. It's very, very odd, though. Thank you for that. Maybe the chief can tell you more about what could cause this kind of behaviour in the animals. But first, I have a favour to ask of you. Um, OK, ask if you can help. Is there anything I'd help with? Yes, there is, actually. There is this wolf who lives in the snow-covered forest. We knew each other well and were always friendly when we met. OK, you know a wolf well. OK, you pop round his house for tea occasionally. But I'm afraid she's been... Oh, her. I'm afraid she's been affected as well. Her eyes shine green... Uh, green bright that last time I saw her and she nearly bit my arm off. Okay, not so friendly anymore then. She has become a danger to nature and to us, so we must do what is necessary. Oh, that's a little bit sad. However, the wolf lives in the snow-covered forest where it is very cold. Have you been in the snow yet? No, we have not. I haven't travelled into the cold yet. What would I need to do something like that? When I go into the snow, I get so cold very quickly. Then again, I'm not very accustomed to the cold weather. I do know how to make some boots, though, which should keep you warm for a little while. Okay, so we can have some lovely snow boots. Some folks at the side of the ice lake do know how to properly shield themselves from the cold, though. Maybe they will teach you to make proper clothing as well. The ice lake. Okay, these are new things that are going to pop up, aren't they? Would you like me to teach you how to make these boots? Yes, please. That would be great. To make these boots, it takes a couple of hides, some rope and resin to properly glue it together. You can use a tannery outside to craft the boots. Resin? Where do we get resin from? A tree, I assume. Okay, keeping us warm to keep me from freezing in the cold for some time, I need to craft pelt boots from an animal hide rope and some resin. Resin can be collected from birch trees. Okay. Um, right, and there we go, new world pieces. Uh, what's Which one's a birch tree? Uh, that one. Okay, right, so search that birch tree. Search the birch. Got a branch... We got birch bark. Ooh, a held torch we can make from that. Oh, that's all very new. Exciting. Well, hang on a minute. There's, there's a box there. We're just going to possibly have a look in this box. We're a box inspectors. 
You kept a feather in a box. <laughs> okay. Uh, firewood. We can take some of that. What's that? That's just lumber. And then that thing exploded. Okay. Bit strange, but okie doke. Uh, anything else over here that we could possibly look at the chest there? Have a little look at that, please. Some canned beans. Very nice. Anything over here? There's a horse. Hello, horse. Um, okay, there are a few things over here by the look of it. Search that pile of junk. Uh, scrap parts, that's always quite welcome. We'll take that firewood, please. That's going to be helpful. Anything else around the back over here? There are some clothes hanging out to dry. There are some clothes. I need some new socks. Can I have some socks, please? Is that a birch? Okay, we need resin. We need some resin. Birch bark? I mean, do we, do we turn the birch bark... In, does that become resin? No, that's just another feather from that. Uh, okay, let's have a chat with the person in charge. Let's have a chat. Oh, hang on. Uh, are they looking? Are they looking this way? Oh, they are now. We're just going to have a look in this uh, in this treasure chest over here, just for security reasons, in case it's got something bad in it. Oh, just scrap parts. Okay, that's fine. Right. Hello, chief. Hello, young Ayana. How have you been? You look fantastic. Plus, that hat is amazing because it's got feathers in it. I'm jealous. How have you been? Um, Yeah, we've been doing okay. Ask him how he's been. Okay, we'll go. For, we'll answer his question first. I've been doing well. I'm very glad to hear it. Have we spoken to Cheyenne yet? We have been facing some issues here in Kacheda Village of late. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I've spoken to her. That's good. I hope you can help us, oh young one. I would have thought you could have gone out to deal with the wolf, given you are the chief of the village. The village of two people. But, okay, evidently not. I'm not quite sure. Right, there's another birch tree. Hang on. Let's see if we get resin from this. Or do we need to do something with the branch, uh, the the uh, bark we're getting from that? That's just feathers and stuff. Okay, tannery. Hang on. So the tannery, we can... Ah, there's the pelt boots. So we haven't got any resin. And we need to get some hide as well. Got enough rope and everything else. Um, yeah, how do we make... How do I, I shouldn't the resin just... We just collect it from a tree. I don't think we make the resin. I don't think it's a thing that we craft by hand ourselves. Although, we have only got four things left to figure out how to handcraft. And that's all sorted, which is quite exciting. Um, okay. So now, I think we'll head back. But we'll just stop off at every birch tree we go by. And see if we can, I don't know, get some... Hang on, we do need to... Uh, we need some hide, actually. Sort that out. Boom, sorry. Um, okay, right, skin and gut that. I don't take any any pleasure out of this. This is a bit grim, but okay, we get hide. We get various other bits and bobs. Okay, another world piece is ready. Crikey's. Um, also, there's a big old saw blade there. He's got another one. Oh, it's getting a bit dark. Hang on. And we can open that chest. Let's open that chest with our common key. A pocket watch. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, also, we'll have a bowstring. Might as well take a bowstring while we're there. And we'll pick up that as well. Some lumber. Okay, we've got plenty of lumber. We can get lumber. That's okay. Um, Yeah, birch trees. Are they only out near them? Maybe they're only out near them. Do birch trees not grow around this bit very much? I don't really know. I'm not much of a treeologist. I don't know how trees do their thing. But, um, okay, clearly... We can't have that around here, can we? There's no birch trees around here. Uh, right, what we are going to do, though, we are going to have a quick drink of that, because we are a bit thirsty. And can we do anything else right now? Can we sort anything else out? Um, no, we can't make those, because we've got no resin at all, which is a bit of a nuisance. How are we looking for arrows? We've only got 11 arrows. Can we make any more arrows? Yes, we can. We could make another couple of... Um, couple of lots of those. Okay, right, so up to... 41 arrows. That's plenty. That's good. I think we'll head inside, because it will get late at some point, and let's put down another world piece. Let's maybe get... I mean, over there. We could start work on that lake there. We could make that a great big exciting lake, or we could work on that bit over there. I kind of feel like we should work on that bit. What we're going to do is, let's have... Let's have that bit there. We shall pick one of those... And if we put that there and then have another big lake bit in the middle, that's going to be fun. I think it's just gone to night time, but we're inside, so it's all fine. So that drops in. And look at that. Yes, there are even more spots we can get. Lovely, lovely tin. Oh, that's marvellous. And then if we put down another world piece, um, just that. Just a big old bit of lake in the middle just to fill that gap in. Okay, that's pretty good. So two more world pieces down. That's not too bad. We shall go to bed. Thank you very much. 
wake up in the morning, do all the stuff. Have we got any cooking to do? We could possibly cook that meat. We might have some meat that we could possibly cook, but I think we're okay for food. I think we're okay for food. So hang on, pop back into here then. So consumables. Yeah, look at that. I got four lots of mushroom soup, two lots of carrot soup. Got a bit of cooked meat there as well. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff. We don't need to cook that one bit of meat. Um, how about then? How about we have... Uh, how about we have some soup? Let's have a bit of mushroom soup, because that's nice. So have that. Very nice. And then we'll have that meat just to top hunger up. And that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then we can, yeah, we can have some tea or whatever if we're out and about. So yeah, we're after um, birch trees. But I don't know where we get the birch trees from. Do they only grow in cold bits? Is that what we're supposed to be thinking there? Because pelt boots are to keep us warm? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. What we are going to do is, though, we're going to pop over here, so to the uh, water's edge over here, and have a little look to see if the tin ore things have respawned. I think they might have done by now. They might have done. So we should go and have a little look and see if we can grab some tin ore from over here, because it would be useful, because we do need some more to do some more building work. I went to put our other things down, actually, because we didn't get around to doing that, did we? Hang on. So uh, it's not back over here, I don't think. This is a bit unfortunate, isn't it? And there's none over there either. Oh, botherations. Okay, okay. Maybe we take a trip to the new uh, world piece we put down. Because we know that's got some tin or stuff on it. Because we saw it. Because it plopped into existence. So we know that's there. So let's run back over that way then. And go and have a look at our new world piece. Oh, hang on. There's a great big bit over here. Look, in fact. Hang on a second. Get the right tool out. Get the pickaxe out. Has this respawned already? This isn't the new bit, I don't think. I think that's respawned already. We went and got that earlier, I'm pretty sure. But okay, we'll have three bits. Thank you very much. That's very good. And then come round here. Because I don't think this is the new bit either. The new bit was on the other side. Are these all respawned really quickly? And the other stuff hasn't respawned. Maybe it respawns at different rates? I'm not quite sure. Three more bits out of that. That is fantabulous. And then round here, there's another bit over there. And this is all new to us. This whole map piece is new. It's very exciting. Right, okay. So choppity chop that bit. I assume with the lake bits, the great big kind of lake sections that we've unlocked, at some point we're going to be able to get a boat or something in there and go into them. Because otherwise they're a little bit kind of pointless. It's okay, kind of you know, fills up a, a square on the map and it looks quite nice. But if you can't go into them, what's the purpose of them? I don't quite know what the point is. Um, okay, so maybe we'll find that out at some point. Maybe we can craft a boat and go sailing around or whatever. I don't know. Let's just have a quick look around here then. Or any more tin ore that might have appeared. Yeah, look, it's over here as well. I mean, I'm not complaining. This is wonderful. But I would have thought the other bit would have respawned before this. But no, this is good. This means we can make more nails. And then we can build more things. Oh, and it's, they've all got loads of tin ore in. That was fantastic. Right, okay. Let's run back to home, and then, yeah, we'll get that tin ore turned into lovely nails. Okay, that was a fine haul indeed. We've now got six tin ingots, so that's very good, which means we can make an awful lot of nails. So let's get that done right now, because we need lots of these to do lots of building projects. So get all of these in. So look at that, we're making so many nails. It's wonderful. What do we need, actually? Hang on. What do we need to upgrade the workbench? What's the next thing? Clay. Ah, a few people did say maybe that's what the shovel is for. A few people did say maybe the shovel is for clay. Um, is it worth possibly... Hang on, hang on. We don't necessarily need the bow on the sort of quick, sort of shortcut bar thing down there, I don't think, because it's always equipped as your sort of uh, alternative kind of weapon thing. That's left click, that's right click. So how about, how about we go to equipment and we have... I know for now, number one is the shovel. And then let's just go, we'll equip a shovel, and then I'll just dig over here and see what happens. What happens if we dig just here? What happens? Uh, we, oh, we're whacking something. Oh, okay. Hang on. So we don't necessarily go digging particularly. Uh, what about over here? Can we dig here? No. Okay, so there must be a thing that we haven't quite discovered yet, which lets us use the shovel. I was kind of thinking maybe it was to do with farming, but no, maybe it is to do with digging for clay, but we have to be over a clay deposit to actually get the clay out of the ground and use the shovel. Okay, right, that's fine. That's okay. So put that away. In fact, we'll get the axe sort of equipped, right? Sheath that thing. Uh, what do we need to unlock the new pieces over here? Oh, it's a birch forest. 
that's quite handy, isn't it? We need some birch pieces. Um, okay, research that world piece, please, because that'll be quite handy for making our lovely boots. Um, have we got a world piece to go down? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. But I noticed that where we would like to do the building of our new, uh, our new fancy house, there are quite a lot of things in the way all of a sudden. So how about we get rid of these things in the way? So there's a great big rock and there are a few trees as well. So we'll get rid of all these bits and bobs and hopefully... By the time that's all done, we should then be able to get another world piece down. We'll put birch forest down and then maybe we'll pop over and grab some resin and make ourselves some lovely boots. I don't know, but uh, yeah, a little bit of work to do. In fact, if we time, if we do this correctly, that tree could fall on that rock and that might give us twice the amount of exciting goodies. And boo! Oh, OK, that, that didn't go according to plan, but a new world piece is ready. That is marvellous. We'll get this stuff anyway, because we need lumber and such like to get more sort of, uh, yeah, to chop, you know, turn into wooden planks and stuff. So we do need to chop these trees down anyway for the resources. So let's just get these down as well. Right, there we go. That's all nice and clear. It has gone a bit dark. So let's go back inside for now. So pop open the door, please go inside where apparently it's warmer in here. I'm not quite sure why, because there's nothing in it that generates heat. But OK, so right, we'll go and have a bit of a rest. We might be quite thirsty in the morning. Our thirst did look quite bad. Yeah. OK, so we do need to get some uh, some food and drink down as maybe get quite a bit of drink. So hang on a minute. Go back to consumables. Uh, let's have we'll start today. Maybe we'll just have some carrot soup for hunger. That's quite good. Bit of that. I mean, do we have some canned beans just to top that up? That does affect your fatigue, but then we could possibly uh, have some mint tea. So let's eat some beans to get the hunger back up. Then we'll have a little bit of tea in the morning, which is quite nice. And then we'll have, I don't know, how about that and then some water. There we go. Stats looking very, very good indeed. Wonderful stuff. Right, how about then we go to the sawmill. We can make a good deal of beams and planks. So let's get this done. Let's make a good number of planks. So yeah, we get two each time. We have got quite a lot of lumber. We could be here for a long time. So work our way through. We'll get... I oh, know, let's use up pretty much all of our lumber bar, a couple of bits to put on the um, into the furnace if we need to. So let's just get all of these wooden planks. We'll go down to, I don't know, don't know what we need to go down to, about there, 17 or something. Uh, no, we'll get a couple more actually. Let's get some more lovely planks going on. So there we go, down to 15 lumber for that. And then we shall make ourselves some wooden beams as well. And we'll, I don't know, let's leave five bits of lumber in our inventory. We'll just have five bits left. That should be fine. Hang on. This is taking a little while to do, but then it'll be done. And then we can get the foundations down. In fact, no, first, what we'll do first is, before I forget, let's put down the new, uh, where is it? Where's the, uh, there, birch forest. Let's put down the birch forest. I assume it can just be near any old forest. Um, can we put it there? That might work quite well. Um, we could put it there, couldn't we? We could, we could put it over there if we wanted to, make a lake out of that. But I think if we put that there, and then we can have another bit of, another bit like that over there, like a sort of an edge of a, edge of a lake and forest over there, that would work quite well. And that's going to make that quite a nice little sort of self-contained lake type thing. Let's put that just there, look. So that can drop in. We do need to get over there at some point, but right now, we have all of these building things. We've got, what, seven plank foundations right now. And we can build quite a few more things. So let's get these down now. That's all nice and clear as well. That's good. So I would like, ideally, I want to kind of a bit in the middle. I want it to be quite a long house. But I would like it to have a little kind of porch front type thing as well. Because, you know, it's the Wild West. And that's what they have. They sit out on rocking chairs on their porch at the front. And, you know, with a, with a gun and they shoot at people. That's what they do. That's what they do in Wild West things. So if we put a bit down like that and another bit there, that's kind of gone into the floor slightly. Hang on. Why is it? Why are our foundations digging into the ground? I don't want it to look like that. That looks a bit rubbish. <laughs> Can we not make them higher? Um... OK, this is a bit strange. But OK, so we'll have that like that. Look, so there we go. Ooh, build increase to six. That's good. So we have got a little bit of a weird anomaly going on there. I'm not quite sure why that's there. I would ideally like another two of those. OK, so if we could get those, that would be good. Um, hang on, come, come out of that. There we go. Right, go to the workbench. Go to there. We need to get another couple of foundation pieces for now. So let oh, we can make loads of these, though. We can make one, 
two more foundation pieces. We are going to need some walls. So let's get some walls made. So we can have, I don't know, I mean, we can need at least six of these, I would have thought. So that's three, that's four, that is five, and that is six. Okay, we'll get a couple of windows made, because we're going to need windows, because we'd like to be able to see out. We'll have four of those, I think. So I have four windows, and then we do need a door. That's going to be quite key to everything. Very nice. And then plank, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind a step. I wouldn't mind a little step so we can step up onto the sort of the porch bit. And um, we are going to need some roof bits. So let's get some plank roof done as well. Just get, I don't know, four bits of those possibly. There is a corner there which could be good. And then a gabled roof as well. We're going to run out of beams. We're going to run out of beams. We'll make a couple of corner bits and that'll be all the beams done. And almost all the planks as well. But that's fine. That's still quite a lot of stuff we've just worked on there. Hang on. Hang on. I just said level three, did it, on the shelter. Did that say three? Select a perk at your workbench. Oh, it's because we've got this over here. When we take that down, that might collapse a bit. So hang on, hang on. Let's work on this. Look, today we're going to have a housey building day. Uh, right, get three more foundations in. So one and two and three. I'm not overly happy with the foundation being underneath all of that stuff. I don't, I'm not really happy about that. I want it to be above all that stuff. Do we need to change where we're going to build our house? I don't like that. It's not like that over there. That's not... Oh, hang on a minute. If we open that door... No, that's all fine. Why Why is this foundation a bit rubbish? <laughs> Who authorised this? It's terrible. Um, okay, what if we need to move it? So tear, tear all these bits down. We get all these things back, don't we? Do we get everything back? It looks like we get some stuff back. I'm not quite sure. We'll get rid of all that. We get planks and nails back. That looks about right. Um, I didn't really like that. I don't like the fact that it was in a bit of a weird... Why was it sinking into the floor? That's not very good. So maybe... I mean, do we want to... Do we tear this one down? But then we'll have nowhere to sleep. We'd have to get the entire house back up and running. Although we can do it in sections. I was going to build a fairly basic replacement, a bit like this one, and then add fancier bits on as we went. Add little kind of rooms on and things, which would be quite fun. But, um, I mean, yeah. Do we just want to... We'll wait, I think, for wait for tomorrow to come around before we do that. Is it worth, then? Is it worth? Hang on, I know what we need to do. We need to chop down some more trees is what we need to do, because we need more lumber to build more things. And if we chop that tree down just there, that might possibly... It might fall on our house, possibly. Okay, it doesn't destroy the house if we do that. Okay, another map piece is ready. That's very good. Uh, right, let's get this stone. So we'll just, um, yeah, we'll sort of clear a little bit of space out over here. But it might be that we have to build where the existing house is. So perhaps tomorrow our job is going to be get rid of that and then build our new house there. However, we can see a little bit of a bother just there as well. Let's move uh, move that out of the way, by which I mean blow it up. So get rid of that, please. So like that. There we go. And yeah, pick that stuff up. And then we've got that there as well. So choppity chop this down. Just try and clear this whole area clear all this out and this is all good material this is useful and there we go right and clear that as well because that gives us some useful bits and bobs right so with that done this area here is now pretty clear so if we go back inside because soon enough it will be dark and it'll be ready to go inside possibly can't get through the door oh, i shut the door on myself yeah i can't walk through the shut door um yeah i think what we'll do is we'll just rebuild over here then we'll rebuild where we already are Although I think, do you know what though? I think when you open the game, and this is just me being very, very picky. When you open the game, it opens like this. So you're kind of oriented this way. This is how the sort of uh, game loads. It might be worth just keeping it like that. So do we build over there? I realise I am now faffing about in trying to pick where we'd like to build something. It doesn't really matter that much, but it might make sense. It might make sense to build over there. And then, oh, hang on, it's gone to night time. It's got a bit cold. Um, and then, you know, when the game begins, I don't have to keep twiddling the map around. Although we do twiddle the map around anyway. I think I'm just faffing at this point. I just need to make a decision about things. However, we shall make a decision about things in the morning. There's something over there. There's something over there. Hang on a second. Let's go and have a nice light sleep first. Here we go. Lovely, lovely sleep. Good morning, Ayana. How are you? What is that? that I've not picked up over there. I didn't mean to press that. I meant to shut the door. There's something over here that I failed to pick up. It's a branch, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's a branch. It's the exciting sparkly branch. Okay, right, that wasn't overly brilliant, but okay. Right, here we go again, consumables. Have a lovely bit of water and have some grill fish skewer. That sorted our needs out nice and easy. Wonderful, got a meat skewer there as well. Got loads of food going on, it's marvellous. Okay, okay, I think it might be time to tear down our existing house. It might be time to get rid of this. However, however, can we move some of the, like the bookcase. I'd like to keep the bookcase and the plant. The bookcase and the plant are important. So I think what we'll do is let's try and build over here then. So let's go to here, get rid of this big chunky rock that's in the way. So blow that up. Away with you, rock. Yeah, there we go. Bang. Right, okay. So pick up all the bits. That's all good. So I think now let's go back into building and, oh no, we've got to rebuild all the things. <laughs> Hang on a second. Go to there. That's the workbench. Right, workbench. Um, yeah, let's make more foundations, please. So one and two, or nine of these, I think, to make a nice square house. I mean, if we could get 12, that'd be perfect. But now we're out of planks, right? Okay, this is fine. We can work on this. Go to the sawmill, make many planks. We've got quite a lot of lumber lying around. This is all good. Okay, so let's get down to, we'll get down to five lots of lumber, making planks. And then we'll get some lovely support beam things in as well. Some wooden beams. Ideal for sturdy construction. That's what we want. We want sturdy construction, please. So like that. Okay, perfect. And now we can go back to here. <laughs> this is all fun. I'm not a builder, you realise. But how many of those things have we got, actually? We've got five bits of foundation. So if we could get up to 12, that would be ideal. So that's six... Then seven and then eight. Are we going to have enough? No, we've gone through the planks already. Okay, right. We need to go and do some serious tree chopping. Hang on a minute. Let's go and just do some lumberjacking. Okay, a new world piece is ready. That's quite good. And also there is a little beehive up in that tree. I think if we do this, we're going to get stung by the bees. But that's okay because the beehive might have beeswax in. And then we can use that to make a little sort of step. That's what we needed, wasn't it? A kind of a front doorstep type thing. Oh, I think we destroyed some uh, we destroyed some huckleberries there as well. Right, that's quite good. I mean, okay, can we also knock that tree down onto those rocks? That'd be quite good if we could. Timber, boom. Okay, two for the price of one. Brilliant. Right. So pick up all that stuff. That should be okay. And we're not that far away. We're only sort of what a, a map piece away from where we need to be. So right, back down here we go. So go to the sawmill. Turn that into even more wooden planks. We need many, many wooden planks to do what we'd like to do. So just loads of these, please. Let's get through all of these. Pretty much turn them all, turn all that lumber into planks. Maybe bar a couple, I think. That should be okay. That should give us plenty of planks to build. But so here we go, down to five, and then four, and then three, and then down to two, and then we'll switch over. Just make a couple more beams, just because they might be useful. Right, okay. Hopefully that's enough for how many of the, the floor bits have we got? <laughs> Side work building house. Right, we need four more. Right, can we please make four more of these? I think we should be able to. So one and two. Yeah, we can. And we'll have a little bit left over as well, which is nice. Right, so four of those are done. That's good. I think maybe as well. Let's put the map pieces down while we're here. So let's have a little look. I mean, our map is growing quite well. It's getting very big. I'm tempted to put a lake bit down over there. Just to drop that in and go, yeah, do you know what? There's a lake bit. That's sorted. Because yeah, then it's just done then, isn't it? That bit's full. Uh, and then we could have, or do we have another couple of lake bits at the edge there, which might potentially give us more sources of tin ore, and then just fill those lakey bits in. That could also be quite useful, couldn't it? Hang on a minute. Let's go to here. We don't need to put any new bits down, I don't think, do we? We do need to get that in eventually. We're not going to do that right now because we're busy building a house, you know, priorities and everything. How about we do what we just said? Let's put that bit there, look. And tin ore, very good. And then another bit on this side, rotate, rotate. Any tin ore on that one? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. That's worked out very well. And now go to building, pick up the plank foundations. Um. Okay. So over here, sort of okay. So if we put one there, and one there, and one there, that's good. Those ones go at the back like that. So there's six. 
And those ones go well there. Okay, that's fine. I like that. I'm okay with that. That's nine of those. And then if we just go, uh, yeah, I'd like a little bit out the front. So I'm going to have like the porch bit out the front here. So my idea is the house, we have a little room there. And then we have kind of a bedroom here. And then a storage room there. And kind of it's an entry room there. Just kind of a fancy entry room. And then kind of have a big sort of porch bit in the middle, possibly. But okay, well, that'll do for now. So come out of that got those and then we'll put a window at the back because we're going to need a window so there we go oh look at it it's taking shape it's looking good and then a plank wall so a couple of walls that's good oh it's getting a bit dark already botherations okay like that um and yeah the door we only got one door made do we put the door like that because we don't need a big glamorous house we don't need a big fancy house maybe we, no i don't need 12 though. i need nine of those well i don't think i needed 12 <laughs> three by three is nine penge massive penge um so if we put the door there and then we've got our little kind of porch bit at the front here which is quite nice and there's a little entry room and then maybe here hang on we could have a bigger porch or do we put that there and have the porch stick out no we'll do that like that look and then we can have a bedroom over there and then a storage room there. And then that room can just be full of nice things. We can have plants and bookshelves and all sorts in there. And then we can sit out on the porch over here. Or do we make it slightly different? Do we have sort of this bit coming out a bit bigger? Maybe we could do that possibly. Uh, Joe, we'll do that. So we'll put that there for now. That's okay. And then we'll get another wall going in for now. So let's just, we'll have that like that. And then around the edge here, look, yeah, we'll have a couple of windows. Make that nice and bright. Okay, I'm liking that. That's looking good. It looks much better than that over there already. Right, hang on a second. Go to here. Go to there. Can we make the step? Yes, we can. Okay, craft us a little step. We've only got one bit of beeswax. So we can only put one step down. Um, I kind of was thinking. I mean, yeah, the step should... Uh, hang on, rotate it right. It should... Oh, they don't snap. I thought it would snap to the edge. Can we run up there? Yes, we can. Oh, I thought it was going to sort of snap to the edge, but no. Oh, we can adjust, oh, we can adjust the height. Oh, we can adjust the height of these things. <laughs> okay, could we have just left all the stuff over there then? Possibly we could have just left all the stuff where it was. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's all fine. You live and learn. That's what happens. Right, let's go to bed <laughs> and hope nobody else saw that. Right, have a lovely sleep. Wake up in the morning and we shall carry on our building endeavours. Right, so there you go. Shut the door behind us. Thank you. What do we need to make the bed, actually? The bed is going to be quite key, isn't it? Um, two lots of fabric. We might be able to make fabric, actually. Hang on. Can we do that? Cotton. Okay. We need to just nip over to the prairie and grab ourselves some... Oh, hang on. First things first, actually. Hang on a minute. I've forgotten about the whole taking care of ourselves. Um, we'll have uh, fish and we'll have water wonderful right needs met let's go and grab some cotton from over here in the lovely orangey prairie lands okay a couple of zombies just meandering around again they do like hanging around this thing oh hang on that zombie has a green kind of glowing face going on that's a new type of zombie i suspect um okay that's interesting do we need to shoot arrows at you because i don't want you to get too near thank you right yeah take some arrows oh crikey you take a lot of hits Oh my word, you take a lot of hits. Okay, that's good. That one has been dealt with. And now we're just taking out that one over there. One last shot should do A critical hit didn't deal with it. Right, there we go. They're both down. Um, right, we'll grab... Oh, do you know what? We'll, we'll grab a carrot. Why not? Where was... Ah, there, look. So that's the zombie with the, with the kind of the glowy face. So we'll check that out. That was just bones. And then the other zombie, it did say loot over here. So there we go. Hang on, where was it? It said, there we go. Right, loot that zombie as well. Crikey's. Okay, right, some more bones, but our sanity has been shaken a little bit. Uh, right, let's just, let's just keep on grabbing cotton. But at least those zombies aren't going to come and get us anymore. They're not going to cause any more problems, which is okay. Right, and we'll grab a decent amount of things. We can have excess fabric. That'll be quite good. Because that's good to have in storage, I think. So, right, we'll just grab a few more of these and then we'll head back home. Okay, here we are back at home. Let's go to the tannery. And there we go. We can now make quite a lot of fabric. So let's get that done. Just make a decent amount of that. I think you've got four lots of it. That's pretty good. So, yeah, we do have some left over, which is very nice. And then pop over here. And, yeah, let's make ourselves a proper plank bed. A proper bed. We shall have one of those. Thank you very much. That is marvelous. We could make another one. 
Oh, do we make another one and just have one in case? We can either have a choice of a bed or if we have guests, we could have another. But we could have two bedrooms. We could have two bedrooms. Do you know what? Let's do that just for fun because we can. So we'll have that. Thank you. That's very good. Um, so yeah, what I'm thinking is we have a room over here and a room over here. I think that'd be quite good. For now, we're just going to kind of uh, pop that into here, I think. So hang on, shut that door. It's a bit rubbish in here at the minute due to a lack of, you know, roof. But we will get that sorted. So hang on, let's put the bed in here for now. Because we're going to have to live in here for a bit. So pop the bed. Hang on, rotate, rotate, rotate. Like that. So pop the bed in the corner over there for now. That'll do. And then we don't need the other bed at the minute. That's fine. We do need some roof bits, however. That would be quite good. So if we just have at the moment, again, we can change this around. We'll have a plank roof, plank roof. Have we got any other plank roof bits? No, got some corners and we do have some more foundation, which we will put down, actually. We'll put the foundation down to so like that. So that's three more bits of foundation. We're working on our house. I like it. I like the fact that we're building our own little place. It's marvellous. And then, uh, yeah, where's the workbench? There. What else can we make? We do need two more roof sections. So if we could... If we could craft just a couple more roof bits, that'd be quite handy. But we're out of planks again. And very soon, we're also going to be out of nails. Right, hang on. Oh, we've used up all of our lumber already. Hang on a minute. Oh, there's a rock just magically appeared there. Uh, we've got some trees to chop down over here. Let me just hackity hack these trees down nice and quick. And then we'll try to get some roof sections made. Right, here we go. Make a few more planks. I think, yeah, we've got enough. Have we got enough bits of whatever that is? What are they again? Wooden beams. We'll make one lot of wooden beams. There we go, just because we might possibly be running out a little bit. And then go back to the workbench, go to there, make us another roof bit. And I think that's going to be enough for the two outside roof bits. Then we just need a bit for the middle, which we're not quite ready to do just yet, but we will get there. So hang on, plank roof, rotate, rotate. I mean, yeah, we're going to take this apart at some point. When we add the other rooms on, these are going to go. But for now, that's going to have to do. Um, and then what do we need to make the middle bit. Hang on, where is it? The plank gabled roof. Uh, do we want that bit? We might want... Is it that bit we want? I'm not quite sure. We can make one lot of it. Let's see if that looks okay. Should we see if that looks okay? It might look a bit naff, actually. I'm not quite sure. We'll spin it round. Okay, so there we go. So we can have one roof section. Probably not the best. Oh, no, that looks... <gasps> That's brilliant. It's a pointy bit of roof. Okay, I like that. Right, so we do need to go and get some more tin ore and such like, um, which we might have to do tomorrow, because it would be good if we could complete that. It would be good if we could finish that off. That would be fantastic. And then we'll have you know, a lovely, fancy house to go and sleep in. Then we can move our stuff over, take this one down, and then just rejig all of our things. And we could, if we wanted to, put the cartography table inside. We could put that indoors in maybe our main sort of room at the front. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, okay, well, hang on for now. Let's go in here, wait for night time, have a sleep, wake up, have some food and drink, and then we'll go ore hunting. Okay, around the big lake where the fisherman is, we've only got this one bit of ore over here and that's it. So the other squares which did have ore on don't seem to have kind of topped it back up. They're not coming back. They're not respawning, which is a little bit unfortunate. Right, that's three lots there, though. That's quite good. So that's yeah, still a good number, but we could possibly do with, you know, it'd be nice if they could sort of respawn so we could have more. However, I think by now all the stuff should have respawned over at the other lake. So the, what, the first lake that we created in the game. So let's go and check that one out. Okay, this is wonderful. There are many, many bits of ore around here. So we should be able to get a decent amount of tin ore to turn into ingots, to make many nails, so we can carry on building our lovely house. Okay, so we're back at home. We've picked up an awful lot of tin ore and I've chopped down some trees as well to get lots of lovely lumber. And also to go with all that, we have maxed out the amount of world pieces we can hold. So I think we get a few of those down right now. So go to here and it might be time to think about getting the cold climate things in. So let's maybe just get a little bit of that one there merging into the cold forest. Now, where can that go, however? Where do we want to put that? It's got to go into a big foresty bit. I mean, yeah, do we just put it over there, look? It's not that far from us. We can kind of run along like that. We didn't ask about the horse over there. I've just realised we could have asked about the horse over there. That would have been quite fun. Um, let's put... In fact, do you know what? Yeah, we'll put it there, look. So past that glade where those snakes are, and then we'll have a kind of a snowy bit over there. Or do we put it that way? We could put it there, look. 
and have snowy stuff going along that way, possibly. So we could have a bit like that and a bit like that. But we could make that happen now, couldn't we? We could do that right now. If we go like that, so drop that in. Ooh, cold, cold looking stuff. And then go to cold and have another bit like that. Oh, no. We can't, no, it's, oh, okay, maybe that's not the right place to put that. No, it's not a foresty bit, is it? Okay, might have messed that up. Yeah, it's not a forest bit. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. I might have just messed that up. Um, okay, okay, hang on. There are ways around this, though, because we could edit this. We've got plenty of world pieces. We pick them up from exploring and doing stuff, which we do now anyway. So we haven't got any ink. Okay, so we could make some ink and then rectify that mistake, because I don't think that's going to be very good. That's going to be a little bit rubbish. However, first things first, priorities. Let's go and just do some of this. Let's go and do some of this, get some wooden planks underway, because we need those. And we'll keep one bit of lumber ready, so we can then put that into the furnace. So we'll do that, look. So have three of these, we get a good number of wooden beams, just in case we need them, like so. And then go to here. Hopefully we can do this quite quickly. So light the furnace, get that done. And we have got a lot of this. We've got, we can make eight lots of uh, eight tin ingots. That's, that's really good. That's going to help out a great deal. Okay, so keep working through that then, please. Okay, that's that done. And I notice it has gone to nighttime, but very quickly, can we make some ink? I think we have to go back to the, um, to the workbench, don't we? Hang on, just quickly do this. So go to here, go to workbench. Um, we haven't got any feathers. We haven't got any feathers. Okay, that is a bit of a nuisance. Right, first things first. Hang on, let's have, have possibly our final night's sleep in our straw bed. Maybe that's the last time we sleep in the straw bed because I think we can start moving everything around into the new building now. That'd be quite exciting, wouldn't it? Uh, right, we shall have some mushroom soup. We shall have some water. And we'll have, uh, what else have we got? We'll have a huckleberry bowl, actually. Have a bit of that, just top hunger up. That's looking good. Right, okay, so that's all that sorted. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, feathers. Can we get some feathers, please? We're just going to go and shake some trees and try to find some feathers. There's a feather. That might well do, although we do need to have a couple of feathers, I think, because we do need a couple of bits of ink to uh, rectify the mistake I made there with putting down our world piece. But you know what? Never mind. At least it can be rectified. It's not an insurmountable problem. It's just a little bit fiddly. Okay, we have feathers. That's very good. So we shall make ourselves... Oh, that's one lot of ink. Okay, now we need to go and get some huckleberries. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. There are some relatively nearby. There are some over here, I think. Oh, there's loads. Absolutely loads of them. Right, okay, let's go and grab a load of huckleberries. We need four lots, I think. So we'll just grab what we need. So that's three. Grab one more from over there. And of course, every little thing we do, every bit of exploration, everything we harvest and gather does go toward another world piece, which is quite good. I quite like that about this game. Right, so pop over to there. Make another bit of that, please. Right, so now we can go to here. So can we also... There we go. Right, so we can now rejig the mistake we made over here. So we can remove that because that's never going to work, is it? Because that's only ever going to go into snowy forest and we can't put a forest bit there because it's got to go plains to forest. There's not going to be a plains to regular forest to snowy forest tile that'll ever fit just there. So, okay, right. We'll get rid of that then. That was a little bit of a mistake, but never mind. Never mind because it's now been sorted out. So go back to the coal bit. We shall have that, thank you. And we'll put it... Let's put it where we were going to put it. We'll put it just there, look. That's going to be fine. It's not that far away from us. We have to run through a bit of a wood and then a bit of a glade. And that's all lovely. So pop that there. Right, that can come back down. And then let's get down. Hang on, go to here. We should put down the proper big snow-covered forest over here. That can go just there. How does that look? Oh, that looks very exciting. Oh, there's a zombie in the middle of it. Or possibly just a dead person. I'm not quite sure. There's something in the middle of it. Um, okay, right. So now we need to head over into that part of the world. But we do also need to complete our pelt boots. It would be quite good if we could go and do that as well. So hang on a second. Hang on. We've got way too many things to do. Um, oh, do you know what, though? Let's just go to here. And can we make ourselves... Uh, ah, yeah, right, okay, we need to get ourselves some more roof bits, but to do that, we have to go over there. We haven't got any lumber because I used it all. <laughs> I thought I kept some lumber, but no, I didn't keep any. Do you know what? It's fine. 
We can get lumber from this tree right here that's going to fall down, possibly on a rock as well. No, we weren't so lucky. Never mind. Right. We've got lumber, everybody. It's all fine. This is organised. Right. Get that thing up and running. So there we go. Put a bit of lumber into there. And then we can make... It wasn't that that we wanted to like. Although we could make some glass while we're here, look. Uh, yeah, we've already done this bit. I forgot about this. We've done this bit already. So just to make it look like we did this on purpose, in case anybody is watching us through the trees, we'll just go make a load of glass. We'll just go and make some exciting panes of glass because we are carrying around a lot of rocks, which are probably quite heavy. So now we can carry around some, you know, delicate bits of glass instead. Hey, how about we go to the anvil over here and make some nails? That's a good idea, isn't it? Let's go and do that instead. We can make an awful... Hang on. Backpack full... Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, we're, all of our things are just rolling around the place. Okay, right, this isn't this isn't gonna fly. <laughs> oh dear! Right, hang on a minute. Resources. Ah, oh, yeah, it it is. Uh, it's all quite full, isn't it? Uh, right, we might need to possibly build some sort of storage chest. I think that might be quite a good idea. Hang on a minute. Where is that? Um, is it in two? Oh, hang on. There. We need we need another piece of lumber. Of course we do. Obviously we need some more lumber. How about we chop this tree down? Uh, right, hang on. this is all fine. Everything's under control. It's all going to be sorted out. Okay, we've got some lumber. That's all very good. So now we can go to here, go to there. We can now make a storage chest. So let's do that with some lumber and some scrap parts. We now do have a storage chest. So hang on, flick that round to just there. Go into our fancy house. It look, I mean, it looks a bit bare at the moment, but we will sort this out. And can we please put down a lovely storage box? It would be good if we could see where we were in the house game. That would be helpful. And put that under the window for now. Pop that there like that. And then in there, can we just put some stuff? I mean, I don't even know what that is. Can we transfer that item? Uh, transfer stack is an entire thing. Uh, yeah, transfer that stack as well. That'll be good. Um, yeah, okay. Just put the glass in there as well, because I don't know what we do with that. And I think that should be okay for now. That means that we should be able to go and pick up all that other stuff that is just kind of lying around. It's just a load of tin nails. Just tin nails everywhere. So hang on a second. Let's go and pick up all of our all of our lovely things. Yeah, there we go. We got everything. <laughs> I think we've got everything. That was a little bit embarrassing, wasn't it? Right, okay. Back we go to making tin nails. Let's hope they don't just sort of uh, spill all over the floor. Because we can make a lot of these. We need a lot of these, but we can make a lot of these. I'd like to just get our roof sorted. I'd like to get the roof sorted on this new building. So if we could just make ourselves one final roof piece, that would be fantastic. It's that bit there. It's a gabled roof. We're going to be able to do it. Okay, we've got a gabled roof sorted. We can now go to, hang on a minute, like that. We can go to here. We've got building. We've got the gabled roof bit. We can put that on like that. And we have a complete house. It's got walls, it's got floors, it's got a door, windows, a roof, a bed and a box. It's brilliant. I mean, it's lacking you know, important things like a plant and other things as well, but it's quite nice. Look, it looks better than the other house. The other house has served its purpose and I shall miss it dearly because without it, we would have been very dead. But I think this house is much better and we can make it even better. We can get some more stuff over here. We're going to have a bedroom here and a bedroom here. And this can be our sort of workroom. So we'll have the storage box. We'll have the cartography table in there. Possibly the workbench. Maybe they could go over here, maybe. I don't know. But here we go. Let's go and have a lovely night's sleep in a fancier bed. That's very exciting. Ooh, hang on. There's a thing down there. Tireless. Low stamina does not make you tired for some time. Oh, so we can have low stamina, but it doesn't wear out our fatigue. Because we slept, I imagine, in a decent bed. Okay, we'll have a bit of water. We'll have some fish. That's wonderful. Right, so food and drink sorted out for another day. I think now we have to start taking things apart over here. Let's maybe... Hang on. Can we build a better table now? Can we build a slightly better table? Oh, can't we build fancy tables just yet? No, so the table and chairs can come with us. The table and chair can come with us. That can go into the nice room, as can the plant. Right, hang on a minute. Do some building. So, all right, move. Um, oh, ah, this is a bit of a nuisance. I want to move it into... Can we see the other house? No. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Can we zoom out? Right, is this going to work or is this a little bit of a naff way of doing it? Right, so I'd like to move that plant. Can we move it over there? Oh, we can. 
<laughs> it just sort of teleports over. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. That's fine. We will go for that, please. Uh, right, move that and put that in there for now. I can't see where they are in there. And then, okay, move the table to somewhere in there and move the chair to somewhere over there. That'll do. And then the rest of this can go. It can, it can go. Hang on, hang on. Can we move that as well? Uh, oh, hang on a minute. No, we've not. Hang on. Come out, come out of that. We need to zoom out again. Hang on a second. Uh, like that. Move that inside as well, if we can. Uh, can can that go inside? Okay, apparently it's inside. That's good. I think now, yes, it's time to say farewell to the original Shaq. I'm going to miss you, Shaq, because you have done a good service, but you are a little bit basic. You're a little bit kind of simple, uh, but you know, you've done you've done us a good service. We shall always remember you, Shaq friend. But now it is time for us to depart. We're just going to tear this whole thing down. Away with you, Shaq. Here we go. Just take all the stuff apart. Plant fibers, all the stuff coming in. Goodness me, we're getting many things, much lumber from this. We can do much more building stuff with this. This is very good. Right. We've got huge piles of things. And that's it. It's now done. The old house is gone. Here is the new house. Not quite finished properly, but it's enough for us to live in. Right, hang on. Let's go. <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> this is not how the interior decor should be. This is a little bit of a shambles. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just go and sort this out because this is all over the place. Right, there we go. That's a bit better. It looks a little bit more organised now. That is wonderful. So the house is now in. It is complete in its very basic form. We are going to add to this. What I would like really is, yeah, for these bits out here to come out. So we'll have another room over here. Quite a big room. We'll expand the porch bit out the front. Have another room on that side as well. That'll be quite nice. And then have a nice big porch across the front. We can have many exciting things out here. And ideally, we could put all of our crafting things on our property. That'd be quite nice. So put it all on the kind of wooden porch things. Even the things which get very hot and could possibly be a fire risk like that thing. We'll put that over there as well. I would quite like to be able to do that. However, what we're going to do is right now to wrap things up. Um, okay, hang on. Which direction we need to go in? We need to head over to there. We need to go to the birch forest because we do need to go and grab ourselves some resin. So let's head over to the birch forest and just see if we can get some resin from it because we haven't been to the birch forest yet. So let's just have a look at what's going on over there. Okay, there's a zombie. Hello, zombie. How are you? Are you a quick one or a slow one? Um, oh, you seem to be quite quick. Oh, you're, oh, right. You're very quick. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Equip the axe. Equip the axe and do a choppity chop. Oh, perfect. And that generated a new world piece as well. That's wonderful. Right, okay, so loot the zombie. Get a bone. Oh no, canned beans. Lovely. <laughs> I don't want to eat canned beans that were previously being held by a zombie. I don't think that'd be a fun thing. Right, we've got a branch and we've got a feather. Come on, where's resin in these trees? We've searched many birch trees. And all we get is, is feathers and branches, which is what we get from the other trees. Nothing found in that tree. Okay, we'll just keep searching the birch trees until we find some resin. Are we supposed to chop them down? Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Do we get resin when we chop them down? Do you know what? I'm going to give that a go. Let's get the axe ready. There's a birch tree there. So, right. Sorry, birch tree. You're the unlucky one. Tool too weak. Really? It's a fancy, it's a fancy tool. It looks fancy pants. Oh, okay. So you're trying to tell me that we can't we can't chop down a birch tree. That's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> That's a low point. Uh, nothing found. Nothing found in that birch tree. Not even a branch. It's just a big stick. Um, yeah, a branch, a birch bark, which is no good, and a feather. I think we have to chop them down. I think we need to chop them down. We'll grab some mushrooms because they're delicious. Uh, okay, right. Well, that was a completely pointless trip to the birch forest. I should not be going back there again anytime soon. One out of five on Forest Advisor. Right, we're back at home. We've got a little bit of time, I think, before it gets dark. So let's just go over to here. Look, can we make any more foundation bits? Yes, we can. Okay, make quite a lot of these because we're going to need a few of these. We're going to run out of planks, I think. That's going to be the big problem. But okay, so we've made a few foundation bits. So if we then rotate that round, I think, yeah, we can put them over there. We do need to move the sawmill out of the way for a second. Hang on. So can we move that just to there or do for now? Thank you very much. That's fine. Because, um, yeah, I'd like to put another four bits out the front here and then start building up that side of the house to try to get at least one of our bedrooms. So that could be our bedroom. That could be the guest bedroom. That's how we're going to work it. So can we just put those bits down now 
whilst it's you know it's still daylight and such. So um yeah, one and two and oh hang on, that didn't go down. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Now it's gone to night time, but look at that. We can go home and sleep in our fancy bed. And I think, yeah, with this done, we'll finish up for now. So go and have a bit of a sleep. And then we'll wake up in the morning. And then, yeah, we'll wrap things up for the moment. We'll come back next time. And we shall try to get ourselves a better axe. Because apparently the axe we have is not enough to chop down a birch tree. I suspect maybe what we might need is a fancy axe over here. So hang on. Um, yeah, a tin axe. That's what we're going to need. So I think maybe we upgrade our gear have a tin pickaxe and a tin axe because at the moment we've got hang on a minute what have we got in terms of equipment we've got ourselves an enhanced pickaxe but it's not a tin one so it's yeah this is gear level two the tin one is gear level three and um yeah lumberjack's axe is only is only gear level one so we do need to upgrade our axe and our pickaxe a little bit so that's what we'll do next time we'll go and grab some more tin ore because i think we've used it all up i imagine on making nails yeah loads of nails no tin ore so we'll go and grab some of that i think and then we'll try to upgrade our gear but then we'll see if chopping down a tree re uh, produces any kind of a uh, resin from its birch trees then we'll try to get some pelt boots and then we'll see where we go from there maybe next time we could go and get a horse we'll go and ask our friend about that horse because that would be wonderful. I'd quite like to get a horse, please, because yeah, we, we do a lot of running around, and that's fine, but a horse would be wonderful. So there's plenty to do next time, but yeah, we'll do all that when we come back. We'll wrap things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Above Snakes. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the Guard. Rob the Guard, he's a hero. He is Rob the Guard. He's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun.